part two of the Whisper Room build. We're going to take a look at adding the carpet and the acoustic foam to the interior of my vocal booth Whisper Room, where I'm going to be doing all of my future YouTube voiceover work. Don't forget to follow me on social media on Twitter at Bots and Design and now on Instagram also at Bots and Design. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, and then you hit the bell. Hit the bell again, so you get the little parentheses around it. That way you'll be notified every time I have a new video. Don't forget to check out the design and making merch just below the video on the shelf. T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, leggings and phone cases in the last build we finished off by doing the major woodworking assembly on the whisper room in this build we're gonna finish all the carpeting and most of the acoustic interior insulation we're gonna start off by adding wheels to the base so that I can roll around my unit wherever I need to put it and use it I bought some nice urethane casters at my local caster supply warehouse so it can handle the load of the booth and rolls really nice wherever I need to roll it. I'm adding some additional supports into the floor. The floor was just half inch MDF. Gives it a nice little spring beneath my feet, but it still needs a little bit of support. Let's start covering this unit with the fabric that I bought it's this uh, standard black or gray cabinet uh, felt fabric stuff and it's going to cover the entire booth it's going to prevent a little bit of sound from coming into the booth and just making it look nice since I didn't want to paint it we lay down this fabric after we cut it to size and I use a little blue squeegee from the middle outward to lay it all flat and I'm using standard carpet adhesive that I trowel down and then the black fabric covering here just adheres to it quite well on the base I'm gonna staple it underneath the edges to make everything nice and clean all right that's the first piece covered in the fabric we can move on to the rest of the walls and the top so we're going to carpet the ceiling as well. Mainly, this is the outside. You can see the power cord sticking out the top here. I got my son to help me a little bit and use the same method, that same carpet adhesive. And we're going to do the same thing for all the other sides. Good thing to have an extra pair of hands here. And my boy holds the corners. We lay it down stretch it out really nice and uh, I don't know what Ace is doing there he's just being a dog all right always from the middle outward just like you're stretching a canvas same deal here works quite well this carpet stuff I think I bought it from Parts Express uh, wasn't too expensive cover all the walls let everything dry overnight and then we're going to come back and we'll trim everything out in the morning. It's morning time now. Trimming everything. Just using a standard razor here. Cutting out the openings for the power. That'll get covered with an outlet cover in the very end. Here I'm just using a pair of scissors. Easy to cut this stuff. Just take your time. Alright, let's put things together. See how they look so we can start working on the interior acoustic foam. All right, lock down the wheels for the base so it doesn't roll around, and we'll start putting the walls together. Ace is gonna supervise, I guess. Ace is my dog, by the way. Staffordshire Terrier, part-time guard dog, full-time groundhog killer. Sorry, woodchuck killer. Yeah, really. All right, put the walls together. They basically go together with <clears throat> a couple of screws, top and bottom, on each of the corners. We'll drop the wall, the ceiling in here, and plug that in. 
light LED ceiling light. Very nice. Super happy about that. It's also dimmable. I don't have that quite hooked up yet here, but in the final uh, build, it'll be dimmable. All right, we need to cover the door arch supports. These are the pieces that go to the right and to the left of the door. I've been putting off doing the door. It's probably one of the hardest parts of this build, uh, but one piece at a time. This is just a monster build for me. It took me, it's taken me weeks, weeks, literally weeks, in between all my other projects, and I'm super busy, so I haven't been able to work on it full time. Trim everything out and you'll notice, you know, I trim everything right to the edges because the stuff gets covered with the acoustic foam later on. We've got the one arch on the left and then the other arch on the right. And you can see over there on the right hand side, some of the turnbuckles have been installed. So in addition to this two screws in every single corner, there are these turnbuckles that uh, basically clamp and hold the tops and the bottoms uh, together on this unit so it makes it super easy to disassemble so here the door frame gets attached to the hinges you can start to see that come together so let's uh, attach one of the fascias onto the door Again, half inch plywood, just uh, excuse me, quarter inch plywood, just like every uh, thing else in the construction of this thing. And so the door has one face on it here. I'm going to add a handle, and this is from a very old project, maybe 2005, something like that. I did a door handle for uh, an automotive supplier that was a plating company, and they plated uh, lots of door handles and different plastic pieces and that's a door handle that I designed for them so that they could use to showcase their finishes there I was uh, just roughing in the window uh, for the door yeah the door has to have a window so you don't get scared and you can see out see what's going on see that people that are inside the booth see if the lights on that sort of thing and I lay it on the table saw of course you know not using the table saw the way you're supposed to you lift the blade up into the uh, plywood to cut it actually works quite well just be super safe here so that is the window roughed in for the door and here I am adding the turnbuckles for the front face of the um, unit and I'll show you real quick how these turnbuckles work I bought these on eBay uh, in bulk and they're adjustable uh, and they work quite well. I had to modify them very slightly to make them fit for my unit. The turnbuckles also have little metal tabs that come down beyond the turnbuckles and that's what helps line up the walls with the base. There you can see how they go and then they hook into the little catch piece on the bottom and you can tighten them to kind of suck everything together when you uh, assemble this all right it's finally time to do the interior acoustic foam I have an electric carving knife it works fantastic for cutting foam I've probably cut more foam with it than uh, turkeys actually uh, and I'm using the spray mount that they actually sold at the local foam supplier place. I bought this foam, the acoustic foam, locally. I'm wearing full-on mask safety gear here since I'm spraying this stuff, even though I'm doing it outside. It's basically spray mount. You do not want this stuff on the inside of your body. So both of us are wearing uh, respirators here just being safe since we're in close proximity to this stuff and it grabs fantastic i have no worries about this stuff that it's gonna delaminate over time it's uh quite quite sticky so back panel here hang the stuff works really well all right, let's turn our attention back to the door. So we got to add the insulation in the door, just like uh, everything else in this unit. Now the door has a window, and I am cutting basically the grooves for where the glass is going to go on the inside channels 
Uh, we're going to do a double insulated window and I'm going to leave lots of extra room. I'm using a little bit of crappy Rust-Oleum here. kind of really hate their products, their enamel. It's just super nasty, but they had a red cherry color that matched the turnbuckles perfectly. So this is my little red accent, and I'm just spraying it down. No primer, no nothing. Don't really care about the wood grain showing or anything like that. Just give it a couple coats, make it red, and then the edges of the quarter inch plywood get a little bit of paint as well since those will be visible I use a little piece of cardboard here just to mask off uh, so I don't get any paint on my handle All right, while that paint is drying on the door, we're going to turn our attention to the business end uh, of the unit, which is the wall that gets the monitor mounted to it, a shelf, and where I will actually be facing while I'm doing the voiceover. So there is a support in the middle of the wall, and all the stuff has been pre-cut out. Um, so that my acoustic uh, foam can attach to it. This is a little bit tricky right here. So there's a wall mount. There is a mount for the monitor. And then that big wide horizontal cutout is for the shelf where the keyboard and the trackpad will go. You can see to the left the um, outlets and the dimmer and on and off switch for the lights. So we'll tack everything in place. This was a little bit tricky. You want things to line up halfway decent and look pretty good. Like I said, the glue, pretty sticky stuff. Let's attach this wall here back in place. You can see how this pops in. That's nice about the construction of this unit is that all the walls come apart and if you want to work on one or do something to it, they are easy to take out and put back into place. All right, so that's where we're going to stop for this video. Ace has already taken a little nap. In the next video, we are going to button everything up and finish the unit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the bottom right of the video or below the video. Give it a thumbs up and follow the channel there as well. Hey, and don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook sometimes, Twitter usually, and now Instagram. Rock on. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.